Chris Lovell here with another edition of Pirate Talk. Brad Winchy, the GOAT. That's just that's me talking. He's not going to want to uh, accept any of those compliments. Uh, head baseball coach over at Lovett Cooper High School. Uh, big time uh, baseball program. He is in charge of it. Uh, had a lot of success. Love talking to him. Colton Coons behind the camera taking care of us as always. It's 75 degrees outside as we're sitting here talking about it. Baseball must be around the corner. It doesn't mean weather's always going to cooperate, but uh, it is right now. But uh, it's starting to – I mean, calendar turns to February. We're getting closer, huh? Yeah, you're gonna, we're going to blink and it's going to be May. Uh, it's uh, – um, especially these first <clears> – excuse me. Especially these first three, four weeks. You know, we have two weeks of, of uh, scrimmages where we're playing 12 to 14 innings every single, every single game. Um, then uh, we go to uh, Round Rock, and we're, we're playing six baseball games there. Um, then we go to DFW, play six baseball games there. Uh, Lubbock, six baseball games. Then it's spring break, and uh, our schedule's over uh, almost halfway done. By, by the time you get to spring break. Uh, so, yes, blowing and going, blowing and going. Like drinking from a fire hose. That's exactly when, right. Once it starts, right. like, get out of the way. Exactly yeah, don't right. call Brad. He's busy. <laughs> um, yeah, that's right. Um and and this was a uh, you are there's a couple things here. One, you had a deep deep run last year, not as far as you wanted to go ultimately, yeah. but it was a very impressive year. What is it like? I mean, regional final. I mean, you're yeah, one game we're, away. We from- were one game away from state. Uh, that game three went into uh, extra innings. Uh, we were. Um, yeah, we were right there. So um, that's kind of you know we've been we've been talking about that a lot this year. Um, just just what could we do different to actually get over that hump right there? Um, and a lot of it a lot of it um, uh, comes down to uh, you know those guys last year, and we have a lot of those uh, key returners coming back of the competitive nature of of uh, of the guys that that are that are coming back and and the and the guys in the past. I mean. Um, everybody remembers the everybody remembers the deep run being being one one inning away from from going to state, but uh, uh, not everybody really remembers the uh, the pie in the face at the very first of the year that that really uh, <laughs> that really shaped us who we were, um, and those experiences that that uh, that we were able to get at the first of the year last year to where we were um, at the end of the year really uh, paid dividends and and uh, you know. Having that strong schedule at the very first of the year um, has done well for us. Um, lets us know where we are, and uh, it, it tells the guys, "Hey, we got to compete if we want to win." And thankfully, the pie in the face was whipped cream topping and not meringue. <laughs> yeah. we, 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 we here at Pirate Talk, we don't condone meringue on any pie. <laughs> but but yeah, you 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 are you will drop your team into deep waters initially. You don't care really what you have coming back or whatever you're trying to prepare them you are not afraid of playing anybody as a matter of fact you will play one of your first games of the season against Allen which yeah. 6000 students something like that <laughs> and, and you've like got that. you've got I don't know 1500 1800 something like that uh which is which is wild but the, the, you you don't you know again the, these are these are the games that you're using to prepare your team for like the Argyles and, and and some of those teams that you're going to face deep in uh, playoff runs. Absolutely, I think that uh, you only you, you can truly tell what the character of a team of an individual of myself if you're put in those tough situations and um, being able to fight through those tough situations. The struggle is who we become at the end of it. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it'd be it. You know, we make it hard on ourselves. That's for sure. I make it hard on uh, on everybody. But um, but, uh, but there's a payoff. I, it, yeah, exactly. It, it's I, I feel like that you you truly know an individual through the struggle, and uh, um, we really try to put them in tough situations, put ourselves in tough situations at the first of the year, and um, hopefully it, it pays off at the end. I, I feel like I have the same conversation with Chip after one of his seasons in that. It's like, okay, start a new season and you're, you're like, how do you replace? And you list off like all these guys like that just graduated. Okay, yeah. you're you're in the same boat. Like, how do you replace a Cohen Peepcorn and a Cutter Douglas and Damian Pantoy? I mean, you had some dudes on your team, which is why you had such a deep run. Um, you know, I mean, let's see here. Yeah, Tyler Spruill, uh, Connor Sanderson, uh, Josiah Gonzalez. I mean, just on and on, but yet that's just what, 
That's what you're asked to do is replace really good players with, and, and you've got a bunch coming back though. I know you're excited about. Yeah, and it's it's year after year. Um, you know, uh, every single if they're a senior right now or a junior, uh, these guys have been practicing with the the Cohen Peep Corns, the Tyler Spruels. They've been practicing with them uh, for two years. So um, the Cutter Douglas, the the Kyle Lewis, the Kyler Jordan, they've seen all these guys, and um, and it's it's. They, it's their turn. It's their turn. Um, and, um, you know, we're ranked pretty high this year with, with um, losing a lot of guys, but that speaks to the, the kids that are in the program, um, the talent that's in the program. Um, you know, with UIL constrictions, we only get them so long. So these guys, are, they go to work. They go to work on their own. Um, um, it's, it's, it's beautiful to see, it's, honestly. Um, they, they take their bats home after, after practice, and they bring them back every single morning. So uh, the, time, uh, the work ethic that we have uh, within this program um, uh, amazes me every single, every single day. Um, and that's a testament to not only uh, the individual, but uh, the support that they have from parents um, and uh, the actual want to, to uh, succeed. You know, you, you mentioned the, the ranking. Uh, I, I think I've, I've seen eighth in the state. Is that accurate? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Comfortable with that? Uncomfortable with it? Uh, you you, you kind of have an issue with it? I mean, kind of take me through all that, that goes through your head when you see that. Like, ooh, got a bullseye on her back. Or, heck yeah, man, this is the expectation. How do you how do you view that? Um, I mean, you can, you can view it two different ways. Uh-huh. We, uh, I mean, anytime that we can have um, – you know, exposure of our kids. Uh, I like that. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, uh, eighth in the state, you know, we weren't ranked last year and ended up sixth in the state. So um, at the first of the year, it doesn't really matter. I think it's more of a testament to uh, the program and the kids that are in the program that say, Hey, these guys can compete every single year. And um, it's a, um, uh, it's a standard uh, that, that these kids that they, that they live up to. So uh, I think it's a compliment. I think it's a compliment to the program. I think it's a compliment to uh, the guys that are the next man up. Uh, I think it's a testament to uh, the, the guys that we had last year that we asked to, to have a, um, to, you know, to lead us this year. Um, the Timothy Haynes, the, uh, the Qualia, the Cook, the, Torres, the Mosley, the Castro, the Hebsons, uh, the Wyatt self, who, you know, uh, Wyatt and Tim have been around for, um, two, two, two years, you know, the 2022, um, the 2022 year where we have, um, you know, you know, a lot, you know, lot, a lot, a lot of depth and, yes. and, and a lot of good baseball players to, um, uh, to last year where, we had to figure it out at the very first of the year, uh, putting uh, putting young kids in in uh, difficult situations. I really felt like it 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 paid dividends in the end. Somebody like um, uh, Qualia going up against Frisco Lone Scar at star as a as a sophomore. Then um, you know he's he has our we have our back against the wall twice. Uh, uh, in the regional quarterfinals, in the regional semifinals, in Midland and in Abilene, right? Correct. And he, correct. Yeah. And, and he, Unbelievable. And he, and he got us through. You know, he, he, he did his job and got us through through that next round. Somebody like Timothy Haynes, 12, 12 game winner. You know what I mean for us last year. Um, and you know, and and Cook and Torres and uh, uh, Mosley, who who went up against the Denton Guyers of last year. You know what I mean. So um, the um, the the experience that we have coming back um, is uh, really uh, it's exciting to me. Uh, I'm, ex- I'm I'm ready to get this thing rolling and see how <laughs> how we you know yeah how, how you know where it all where it all ends up. Yeah, and and Chris Baker will kill me for saying this, but he's got he's got an easy job this year. Not, <laughs> not really, not really, but he's got some pieces to work with. I mean, you mentioned Timothy, and then and then Quali. When you have experienced pitchers that have really done it on the stage that they've done it on. It, it it's it just kind of lightens the load on everybody. Now, I mean, that comes with expectations, obviously. But I, I, I'm guessing you'd rather have it that way than the opposite. We're like, I don't know who's pitching for us, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. Who, who who like what would you look at as far as general starters or kind of a rotation? I mean, how do you sort through that? Because I know you we talked last year. You kind of ramp them up. 
you don't want to go too fast too soon and walk before we can jog and jog before we can run and all that as you kind of get guys arms built up kind of take me through that process uh you know right now we're uh being very you know we're being very cautious with the arms we uh, uh obviously we have low pitch counts right now even though these guys have been throwing for um since I don't know, December, you know, we start ramping them up. Uh, we start throwing again in December after a, we lay off for a couple months off the mound. Um, then um, we just, we're just very cautious with it. Um, by design, I keep a lot of arms and we try to develop a lot of arms. We don't give up on, on, we try not to give up on guys too young. You know what I mean? Um, so um, uh, on, you know, if we, I like to go into these tournaments with, at least 12 arms okay um just because especially earth early in the year um we six games <laughs> yeah we got six games two games uh two games a pitcher everybody's on pitch counts um we're uh, really in in um <clears throat> sorry uh go and scrimmage in the scrimmage season we're trying to build up for those tournaments okay. and the tournaments we're trying to build up for district and district we're trying to Win it, it's just then, a process. then yeah, it's yeah. It, it just it's scaffolding. We're trying to build upon itself, trying to do it safely. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, and, and Timothy Haynes, he's already committed to Midland Midland College, which mm -hmm. it's kind of like a Lubbock Cooper yeah, post grad Cooper. program uh -huh. there, and they have a really really good junior yeah. college program out there. That's where Kyle Lewis was, and now some of those guys are ending up at Lubbock Christian. It's kind of this full yeah. uh, Cutter Douglas ends up from last year at Lubbock Christian. So mm -hmm. anyway, Midland has uh, been very kind to, to Lubbock Cooper, but Timothy is. You know, is is he t – take me through your expectations of him. He's going to get a lot of press, and I think yeah. he's earned that, uh, yeah. not just with his arm but with his bat I mean, everything. Um, is he one of the better guys you've had come through your program as far as just a complete baseball player? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, uh, Tim – uh, Tim can play anywhere on the infield. Uh, he has played anywhere on the infield, and honestly, he was brought up as a sophomore to be a, a catcher as well. Okay. So he can he can do that. Um, um, a, a true complete ball player. He can um, he can get up on the mound. He can spin it for us, and um, he can uh, uh, put together great abs and uh, leave the yard at will. So um, it's 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 a it's fun to watch him play for sure. Now uh, I. Uh... This wouldn't be like you. It shocked me that, that Coach Colwell was doing something like this too. But now do you have a home run belt like she does? You heard about this? <laughs> there was one. I think it's a necklace now. <laughs> okay. okay. It, it's like a big gold yeah, chain. Yeah, okay, yeah. Got to have some drip and some swag and all the, the young people terms. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Well, Tim, Timothy Haynes, may be, he may be wearing that quite a bit this year. Yeah, um, plenty of pictures out there. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. There, there you go. Yeah. You got you to earn the right. You got to go yard. Uh -huh. Um and, and Coach Taylor and Coach Baker back with you again, and you have a you have a great staff. Uh, let's talk. You know your your schedule. In all seriousness, you 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 you've always done this. You take them to the Metroplex, and you take them right outside the Austin area for those tournaments. And you see much bigger schools than you are, and uh -huh. some of the best programs in the state on purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, take me through that mindset and that you know who you will specifically who you will see, and we know kind of why you mentioned that earlier. Yeah. Uh, I think we start off the year. I know we start off the year with Allen. Uh, then Corpus Christi Carroll will be after that. Uh, then two San Antonio teams, uh, Brandies. I, I don't know if I'm saying that okay. correct. We yeah. played them last year um, in that in that same tournament. Uh, then we go uh, San Antonio Johnson, um, Liberty Hill, uh, Klein Canes, one that I haven't played before. Um, so that will be a, a something new. Then uh, rolling over to DFW. It's it's uh, Alito. It's it's um, uh, Little Elm Keller, um, just uh, I mean it's the who's who, uh, it's the who's who, and um, yeah, it, you know it's um, it's it's fun, it truly is, and even it, even last year, uh, like that struggle took us to where we needed to be. Uh, we figured out a lot about ourselves. Because um, you don't freak out if you go and you, you drop a couple of games or it just doesn't. It's a it's a tournament, man. We just didn't get any results. You're not panicking, it, it, and 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 maybe you are. I don't know. You're, you're like the, you're like the you're like the duck on the the pond. It's like just calm, but the underneath you're paddling like crazy. I yeah. don't know, but but it's it's a process. Uh, but I, I think you always have the best perspective about it. Yeah, and you try to, you okay. know, and and everybody, if you if you've ever coached before, you want to win. Oh, you yeah. know, you want to win, um, and it's frustrating whenever you don't. Uh, but at the same time, it's it's a uh, it's imperative that you step back and say. All right, how can I get this team there? How do we? How are we fitting together? Um, 
um, are we, you know, are, are we doing, are we, are we doing the little things? Are we, are we playing sound baseball? Are we, um, trying to do too much? Are we not trying to do enough? Um, how's our approach at the plate? Um, so, uh, whenever you're, um, whenever you go to these places, you can't get away with not having a good approach at the plate. You can't get, get, get away with not throwing strikes. You can't get away with, um, uh, and, and really that pitching staff, um, Coach Baker does a good job with it. Somebody else that does a great job with it that's uh, now it's his time to shine is Wyatt Self. Um, sure. He can, um, he can, um, I've, I, like I said, we, we brought him whenever he was a freshman. Um, he uh, got a lot of time against these teams last year as, as a sophomore. Um, and uh, it's, I, I see him as a, uh, as, as a, you know, junior that could be, that should be a senior this year. So uh, he's going to help us out tremendously with that. Um, and also at the same time, these older guys, um, just like I've, I've already mentioned the returners, the, um, uh, you know, Castro, Hebson, Cook, uh, Jules, Qualia. Yeah, because you always, you always all these have guys, a couple of sophomores you yeah, on purpose. They're, yeah, they're seniors. You know, they're, you know, they're seniors. Um, uh, we really rely on them to, um, to mentor uh, the guys coming up and say, hey, this is, this is, this is how we do it. You know, the Mosleys, all, all those guys. You know, this is how we do it. Uh, everybody does it differently, but um, we got to find our niche, and um, uh, it's a really good setting right now that everybody wants the same thing. We we, we love talking uniforms here on uh, Pirate Talk. <laughs> Um, you know, um, now you've got a couple of gray, some, yeah. some gray pinstripe looks. Yeah. So I'm yeah. a plain Jane guy. Give me uh, yeah, a white you, uniform. You are. You're a, pretty, yeah. Give me a gray uniform. Uh, but, um, trying to keep up the times a little bit. Uh, the guys wanted a, uh, a, uh, a oh, so you, had, you gave them some input. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Uh, they have all the uniform input except okay. for <laughs> we're not going to wear black pants. That's, that's <laughs> whenever I'm gone, that's whenever, that's whenever we get that stuff. But, uh, <laughs> But uh, no, yeah, we got gray pinstripes this year. We're gonna look okay. pretty fresh. We're gonna look good. Okay. Um, okay. Put my little spin on it. So, okay. So uh, yeah, it's it's exciting. The guys like it. They look good, play good. So hey, I love I'll, it. I'll buy you anything you want except for black pants. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. Um, now take me through. Okay. What is uh, there's a lot of unwritten rules in baseball, right? What is that yeah. fair to say? What is your favorite and least favorite unwritten rule? Oh man, that's tough. Because there's a and and that may be different. Unwritten rules could be different to different people. That's what's always fascinating when there's a controversy that pops up. But like, what's the? Okay, this is this almost should be a rule because it's like my favorite. I think, but you know, yeah, I don't know. Protocol standard. Uh, I don't know. That's that's uh that's pretty tough. Um, I don't know. I'm a. Uh, I don't know. I really haven't thought about that. Okay, I'm putting um, you on the spot. Yeah, yeah, you are. Um, <laughs> so, um you know. Uh, like I would uh, say, I would say maybe. I don't know. I'm a I'm a big you know the the mound is the pitcher's mound. That's his island. Okay. Okay. Nobody else needs to step on that mound. Okay. Um, it's like stepping over the chalk line. Coming over across it? of it. Don't don't come across it. Uh, whenever my guy's on the mound, I want that. That's his island. That's 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 his domain. Okay. Um, so doesn't matter if it's infielders. Doesn't matter if it's opposing players. Like that's that's a. That's that's their sacred, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and it's it's might be silly, but at the same time, you 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 have a you have a guy that's out there competing. It's everybody, all eyes are on him. He needs an area that's his own place. So um, that's a I want him to feel at home there, and I want him to protect his home. So yeah, because you know, there's like, hey, you can't you can't steal bases up so many runs. You can't. I mean, I don't know. You shouldn't be bunting with the scores. This or yeah, that. there's all those too, for sure. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And it's it's different. It, you know, it's subjective. You know, well, I mean, you know, you guys came back from way down, so we're just trying to keep pouring it on. But whatever. I mean, yeah, I, all, yeah, all, all those yeah. kinds of things. Yeah, because like stepping over the chalk lines when guys. Yeah. Come, now everything's turf, uh, <laughs> so it's not really true chalk. Uh, yeah, in, in some to, we used to have to pour those chalk lines. So yeah, yeah I she, used to get real mad, but now. It's, yeah, and and you yeah you 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 the little machine and you know making sure that it's not. Uh, you know, oh, yeah. swerving all over the road yeah. and everything like that. Um, you, we we uh, remember last year when I talked to you. Your big Pedroia, Dustin Pedroia, yeah. was kind of your dude. Yeah. You know, your Boston Red Sox. Did you enjoy the Rangers? Like, Yo, uh, just as fun. a baseball guy, yeah, yeah, it was fun. Really, a guy that I really uh, gravitated toward. He was a former Red Sox, and he did red Red Sox and 
Red Sox or Red Sox. Sure. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, it was uh, Nathan Uvalde, uh, the way he, he was just a bulldog. And, and uh, no matter what, what they needed from him, he did the same thing for the Red Sox, did the same thing for the Rangers. And it was really, that, that was really one guy that I, that I gravitated towards uh, being a fan of. And obviously watching uh, Josh um, yeah. play here. Yeah. And whenever we go to tech team camp, he's just talking to our guys and everything like that. What a great individual, you know? Um, so it was fun to watch all that uh, for sure. Yeah. It's, it's uh yeah, it, it's fun to just, I think it's, it's better for baseball in general when like one of these in-state teams uh, yeah. does well. The Astros have certainly had a, a big time run too. Um you, you know, and, and your, your philosophies, if I asked coach Colwell this recently too, but like, if you were to sum up the culture of your program and say like, what, whether that is what it is or what ideally we would want it to be, how would you define your program very succinctly? Like as uh, far as like, this is what we are. Um, and, and I think it changes every year. Okay. Um, depending on, uh, your... yeah, it depends on, on who you are, uh, what you want to change from the year, okay. from the year following, um, something that uh, I've really been hitting hard on the guys is is uh, just overall team camaraderie. Also, I think we can play harder. We think we're playing harder, hard, but I think we can play a little bit harder. Um, so that's really what we've been hitting with these this these guys so early in the season, and and um, you know, and just just uh, uh, enjoying being out there, uh, but at the same time that there's a mission behind it so um look we always have we always have guys that are that are hungry to compete um we have guys that um uh, put forth the effort um but you know i think different year to year I, what what i really want people i guess to answer your question what we do we want to play the game right we want to play we want to field cleanly we want to throw strikes we want to have a good approach i think if you can um, if you have uh, guys throwing strikes and you can pick it up and throw it across the diamond behind them, I think you have a good opportunity to win. Um, if, uh, you know, we got people correctly backing up, people, um, you know, um, running down the line, everything. I, I think if we can play harder, I think that – that win and that W takes care of itself if you do the things the right way. Do you ever do you ever have to talk to your kids about not feeling the pressure from the year before, or or maybe a different way to ask that is, hey man, just because you put LCP on your on your jersey doesn't equal that you're just automatically going to win. The guys before you have done it, yes, but they worked hard to do it. Just because you put that uniform on doesn't we're not guaranteed anything. Do you have to fight any of those things? Uh, not really. Okay. Not really. Which is um, a, that's and a good and thing. We, what we talk about, um, it's a it's it's a tradition. You know, we try to keep that tradition alive. Um, um, we said it a lot last year and we we'll, we keep on saying it this year. The names on the back of the jerseys change, but the name on the front never does. Okay. Um, so um, it's your turn. Uh, get out there and compete and um, uh, Ultimately, I mean, um, ultimately, we want to play our best baseball. Uh, doesn't doesn't matter what uh, who we're facing if we're facing uh, the Kellers or uh, if we're facing uh, Monterey or, or Wiley or, or Coronado district teams or anything like that. Uh, we want to uh, play the game our way um, and um, do it well. Last question. I'll let you get out of here. As you look at your district. You know, do you have a feel for how competitive it will be? Because it's always very tough. And you yeah. remember it last year. It was like uh, everybody's just right there. Then you kind of, you know, you started to pull away a little bit at the end. But, I mean, you know, it was it was like a six-way tie there for a period of weeks. Yeah, I have a picture of it. I think we were <laughs> – like, it was how one is week, this possible? One, one or two weeks out and we had, we had – what was it? Five teams, six teams, all at eight and five. Five yeah. teams, all at eight and five. So, yeah. um, it was definitely a grind, and um, I think that the district's going to be tougher this year. Um, okay. There's a lot of wow. a lot of returning, uh, especially on the arm side. Um, that's, uh, that's look, what, there, there's, that's what there's decides great, it. Yeah, there's great there's great coaches in this district. Um, they've they've been doing it for a long time. They do it the right way, and um, it's it'll be a battle every single. Every single game, um, the uh, district schedule is kind of kind of crazy. We have to um, play two games in tournaments. Uh, we have to play some Tuesdays, some Saturdays. So it's a little bit. It's a struggle to get into a rhythm. Because um, yeah, you fought for there. There was some opinion on 
how do we want to do this? And I think you kind of were like hoping that you could just play a series like it is in the playoffs. This yeah. is how the postseason is. Why don't we do this for our district? Like, let's just play a two out of three type deal. But I guess, you know, you were in the minority there. You know, and and there's a lot of things that go into that. I don't know. It's, um, it's not that necessarily that the other coaches didn't want to do it or anything like that. It was more of, you know, travel. Um, yeah, and that's travel. Right. Do we, you know, what if what if it rains on what if it rains on a yeah. Saturday and we're supposed to play a double header? Well now we have to play two on two on two on Monday and one on Tuesday and UIL you can't do that type of stuff. So okay. um and really, you know, it's 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 just kinda but that's I know. I like your opinion of it because this is the, what we're doing in the playoffs, and so we should do right, you know. But I get it. There's there's the calendar and logistics and rules and all these things. Right. Uh, mess with you. No, we don't need all that. Let's play some. <laughs> hey, ball. but everybody everybody has the same schedule. Everybody has the yeah. same struggles. So um, it's it's uh, some um, sometimes you're playing guys. Uh, sometimes you're playing teams that have only played twice in a week and you're playing three times uh but ultimately uh it kind of evens itself out towards the end of the schedule so um uh, really we just kind of we gotta we gotta put our head down and say this is who we have today uh this is who we're this is who we're going with and let's get it done eighth ranked team in the state preseason uh big time nucleus coming back go see some gray pinstripes out there you might <laughs> even see a home run necklace i don't know uh but uh, they get going here pretty quick that is brad winchy i'm chris level for colton coons behind the camera this has been another edition of pirate talk